Good evening, everybody. I am Dean Longwood Geek. By myself for the moment, but I think Puckle will be joining me soon. I'm uh, going to be trying a new game this evening. Um, one, I don't really feel that well, so it's probably going to be just a short one to two hour stream because i got to work tomorrow, of course. Um, but I wanted to, I've been watching this guy on YouTube by the name of Entac, um, playing this game called Generation Zero. And I'd seen it on Steam for a while. Um, it was one that's been on my wish list. But, you know, I didn't really want to pay $35 for it yet because I didn't know if it was going to be any good. Studio I'd never heard of, first game they put out. Uh, Avalanche Studios out of Sweden is the company that made it. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Um, okay, why am I dropping screens? So, guys, um, let me check something real quick, sorry, while I'm talking. Um, Okay, so this is not good. I am dropping frames like a mother. Why am I dropping frames? Sorry, guys. The life of a troubleshooter. I wonder if it's because Generation Zero is running in the background like that. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Close up. Stop out. Give me one second, guys. It's a dog. Okay. Let's go to call viewers. Oh, there we go. So, GOG must have been downloading something. Close GOG out, and hey, right back up it went. So, that should take care of that. And no more drop frames. Okay, cool. So, I got to remember to turn everything off before I start streaming. That's, uh, that was impressive. Sorry, guys. <laughs> if it was a little stuttery, I apologize. That was totally my fault on that one. So, um, yeah. Anyways, so this is by Avalanche Studio. Um, it's a game that's set in the 1980s. Uh, so, right at the, you know, kind of towards the end, I think, of the Cold War. I think it's, it takes place in 89, so it's a few years before the end of the Cold War. Um, it's set in or around an archipelago in Sweden. And there's Max. And that's pretty much all I know. There's I watched Intact play for a little bit, just enough to know that I was going to likely enjoy it. Um, but I made sure to avoid uh, any of the major, major story elements. Uh, thankfully, he was playing mostly to show off mechanics. Um, and if you get a chance, I definitely recommend checking out his YouTube. Um, it's uh, got some good videos on there. And he seems to apparently like a lot of the same games I do. Yes, that is Comet behind me. Hi, Comet. Wave to the camera, Comet. Paw? Give me a paw. Can I get your paw? You gonna wave to the camera? No, oh, no. He's just gonna be a ham. Anyways, so, with that in mind, guys, yeah, it looks like my internet has completely stabilized with zero drop frames. Who's calling me? Sorry, guys. I've got to text them back. Give me just a second. We uh we had somebody in the con family uh, pass today, uh, so I'm also not in the greatest moods from that, but I figured playing a little bit of gaming would hopefully cheer me up a little bit. Um, so if you're a LibertyCon person watching me, definitely go send uh, some of the families your love. They could use it. They could use it. So. Anyways, so yeah, like I said, it's a post-apocalyptic, or not post-apocalyptic, we don't know yet, actually. Um, I really don't, that's not a spoiler, I really don't know what's going on. Um... The classic disappearing people scenario, from what I could tell, there's like, you know, food and stuff left. So, we're going to find out what's going on, and hopefully it's going to be kind of cool. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip and get the game set up for um, for this. That new game I bought, Gen Zero. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're fine. Anything? Yeah. Let's find out. All right, so let's uh let's see. All right, I got my head down there. All right. Let me go back to that. All right, let me see if uh, property of scaling transform. Nope, that's right. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and flip over and uh, see what we got going on here. Like I said, I'm interested in 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 this game. I'm interested in trying it. So for thirty-five dollars, it's good. It'll get a good review from me if it is. So your settings, game tutorials and hints are on. Field of view. I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up to seventy. I think that's commonly what I use in a lot of my programs. Unit system. Oh, metric. Hmm. <sighs> sure, you know what? Um, I can read metric, so sure, we'll go for it. All right, display, screen resolution. Oh, we're going to so bump you up. Okay. I'm literally getting it to go the other way. Uh, 1920 by, no, uh, here we go, 1920 by 1080, full screen, uh, v-sync on, oh, dynamic, uh, okay, Let's see if that just threw the, you off. Okay, looks like it didn't screw anything up on that end, so. Awesome. Yep. Alright, let's go back. No, go lay down. Uh, so, what's the difference between display and graphics? Oh, here we go. Quality preset ultra. Oh, God. Um, well, let's see if I get any. Uh, any explosions, uh, as in my graphics card suddenly rockets out of the system at high speed. Audio, uh, subtitles, yes. Voice language. Oh, we can change the voice language. Um, you know what? Since there are subtitles, I'm going to go ahead and leave the voice language on its native. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut the music down slightly, down to about 70. What well, um, uh, languages do they have to choose from? Good question. I don't know. Let's see. Swedish, English. Swedish or English. So we'll just keep it in its native Swedish. This is by a Swiss developer, so there's no reason not to. Oh, oh and your rice is in the microwave. Okay. And you've got something on your lip. Careful lip. Yeah, I know. That's the blister. No, the black. There's black all over your upper lip. As in, almost looks like a mustache black. There? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I didn't think puberty was hitting too much. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Okay. Sorry, guys, just need to grab a sip of drink real quick. I have been still not quite 100%, so. Uh, let's see. Let's see how that goes. Just one thing real quick. No, oh, sounds better than it has been. Yeah. So I did that voice filtering thing earlier. Oh, okay. Alright, so keyboard and mouse. Okay. Privacy. Now this is interesting. Um, oh, okay, that's not for what I thought it was. The game is designed to be played both single and multiplayer, so... What are you doing, dog? We'll okay. come back up and, and sit. Okay. He likes to sit with him, Betty, when um, he's played video games all right, new game, gender. Oh, 
what are the gender options? Male, female. Okay. Um, let's see. Notice I said gender, not sex. Uh -huh. Character. What's the difference? Uh, you can, there, there are subtle modifications. Okay. Looks like they don't have short, fat, and heavy set, so. so we're gonna go with G. For me. For geek. Yes. Skin tone. Uh, we'll go with B. I have a slightly dark tint, uh, skin tone, especially if I'm out in the sun for more than a couple minutes. Starting outfit. Uh, Rebel. Oh god, 80s punk. There you go. A hip hopper in the 80s. Oh, that's interesting. So the game's set in the late 80s, so you can recreate. One of the things they talk about is the clothing. It, the clothing does have attributes. Okay. But one of the things you can do is actually make, basically create your own 80s style. Oh, nice. Uh, greaser, popular, nerd, metalhead, or military. I'm going to go either metalhead or military, I think. Okay. Because, yeah. Well, what was nerd again? I don't know. I mean, it would be a good look for you. I'm just you know, nerd head. I put, I'm a metalhead. Kiss my ass. Uh, style. Let's see what the different metalhead styles are. Or actually, you know what? Just to indulge you for a second, let's see what the different nerd styles are. Okay. Oh, okay. There's regular nerd and there's Stan. Yeah. From uh, South Park. Yes, thank you. All right, metalhead. I like More that Judas one. More Priest or? Uh, I like the black jacket better. All right, let's see what the military style is. Oh, I know that type of uniform. What that is, is absolutely uh, Eastern European military uniforms. All right, so we're gonna go back with metalhead. And we're going to do the style too. Okay. All right. I think we're ready to go. What do you think? Yeah. That, that looks good. All right. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. Your game is set to allow anyone to join. You can change the setting at any time in the multiplayer menu. I'm probably going to change that to solo only at first. Okay. Um, just because I don't want random people joining. I think it's like five people total. Let's see what the cutscene is. After World War II, Sweden enjoyed an economic boom from having come unscathed out of the war. But neutrality had come at the cost of integrity, as the poor readiness had forced the country to make deals with Hitler. Intent on not ending up in the same situation again, Sweden's newfound riches were invested in the so-called total defense, the ability to protect the border while also shielding and maintaining civilian life. Over the coming years, Sweden massively increased military spending whilst organizing the civilian preparedness for what increasingly seemed like an inevitable invasion from the east. Every man, woman, and child was drilled to be ready for the war, knowing exactly what to do and where to go when the siren sounded. And most importantly, to offer resistance at all times in all situations. This is actually very historically accurate. Everybody in Sweden is required to do either two years in the military or two years in social services if you... Um, conscientiously object or aren't fit for military work. Move, move. Thank you. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Ulstertorn, Sweden, November 14th, 1989. You and some classmates have spent a food few days out in the archipelago cut off from the world. As you return, your boat is suddenly hit by explosive projectiles fired from shore. You don't know what fired at you or why, but you managed to make it ashore, injured but alive. Uh, okay, Honor, can you stop crunching whatever that is? Seriously. I can't get up. Can you lean over? Yeah, got it. Alright, so, multiplayer. Who can join? Uh, invite only. There we go. Preferred language English. Oh, you could have just gotten the whole thing with the blade in it. Yeah. Let me let me see let me see that real quick. To give you guys an idea, 
this is just one of the blades. Let me flip over to the uh, full camera here. This is but this is just but one, yes, dog, of the um, many blades that I have here at the house. Um, comment set, and so it's um, actually sharp, extremely sharp. Uh, this one is not just ceremonial. This one even has the uh, blood uh, blood canal in it. So this is a legitimate working blade that, you know. I know Ezekiel III has his uh, quote-unquote fuck knuckle. I have my long sword for long wood. Yeah. So, and it actually has a comment. Could you please move, dog? Yeah. There you go. And it has a very nice sheath that came with it, too, and a carrying bag. That's just only like a, what, $70 sword, I think? Mm -hmm. or, it was, it's either 50 or 70 I got it for a really good deal at a local cash converters. So, hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. But yes, uh, I have a wakizashi in the kitchen uh, as well, and a battle axe that's on hooks by the side door. And also on speed dial. No, that's true. That is my mother, after all. <laughs> but yeah, I um, we keep a vast uh, armory here. Um, bladed for the most part right now, but not solely. All right, so let's let's uh, let's flip this back over to the game. That's what you guys are really here for. All right, so apply escape. Okay, settings. How's my audio? Because I'm actually it's funny I'm not hearing anything. I just want to make sure. Well, we'll give it a minute or two to see if it's just. Because there's nothing to here yet. Alright. So I made it to shore. We kind of got shot at. Something blew up our boat. But we've made it to shore here at the archipelago. Um, right now I don't see anybody. I also don't see shit because I don't have a light. Let's see if I can find like a light or something in here. Um, there's a bicycle, can't use that. Right. I don't see anything. Oh, wait, what's this? Nope. Okay. Alright, so there doesn't seem to be anybody or anything nearby. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and crouch. Not because I know if anything's coming, because I'll be honest, I don't. When I caught Entech's first playthrough... Um, or his recent playthrough, um, I caught, he started like, or I started watching it shortly after this area, so I really don't know what's here. And I keep saying that because I don't want people to think I'm just, I'm just screwing with them. I'm going to die, I'm going to die a lot, and it's simply going to be because I've never played this before. And I have no clue what to expect. It's like an maniac, expect an unexpected. No, I always expect the unexpected. If you expect the unexpected, then you will never be surprised. Surprise is the enemy of good. So if I do not allow myself to be surprised, then I never have to worry about it. I don't know what that... Oh, okay, I think that's a police car, maybe? Blue light, blue flashing lights. See what we got going on here. Really need a flashlight. Do I have like an inventory screen yet? Oh, I do. Okay. So it looks like a a slightly well, actually like a anorexic metal Jesus right now. Seriously, I look like an anorexic metal Jesus right now. Mm -hmm. So this this guy needs some sandwiches badly. All right, so I can't see much in here, and that's fine. I just need to look and see if there's anything useful, like a flashlight or anything in here. So you, it's a tool shed, so you would think somebody might have packed... A flashlight. Put a flashlight in here or something, yeah. Doesn't look like it, though. Okay, so it looks like it wants me to go... Oh, okay, my point of interest is, like, in the house. Okay. And by the way, guys, sorry if you hear some odd background noise. We are getting some hella big rainstorms here. So don't don't be surprised. Yeah, you can't hear it. Now I can. Yeah. 
remember, super hearing. I will hurt you. <laughs> that is not funny. Okay, well, what's this? Safe house unlocked. Uh, first aid kits. Okay, cool. All right, so wait, what did it just say? I missed that. Uh, log, here we go. Break of dawn. Search the house for anything of use. Pick up the flashlight. Okay. Oh, where's the flashlight? Dude, there's blood on the floor. Doesn't appear to be blood on the dance floor. No, no. You don't know if those floors were used for dancing. True. Alright. Pistol here. Got no ammo. Have a pistol? No ammo. Great. Yeah, it's just a shot in the dark right now, or at least it would be if I had some ammo. up here of any notes I'm so crouching because like I said I'm in an unfamiliar environment in a house I don't know whose it is with something that has a red light flashing towards a gun and no people that sounds like a problem oh hey is that a flashlight I do believe it is okay flashlight uh, use F to turn it on and off I can turn many things on and off with an F Still got the ammo though. Let's see, I'm gonna step up here for a second. Oh, that's interesting. I can turn the uh, lights on and off in a house. In the house, that's cool. Is there anything in here? Oh, hey, more first aid kits. Perfect. I'm at 100% health. You know, it's funny. They said, you know, you made it to shore alive but injured. Well, I don't see any injury. Okay. Oh, they might not account for pride. Uh, bangs, handwritten note. Matt, we tried to call you at home, but you probably rushed to the station as soon as you heard the readiness alarm. You'll have enough on your plate as it is, but in case you find this, just know your mom and I are doing fine. We'll, dry, we'll just drive over to the village and wait it out there. Be careful, mom and dad. Okay. Uh, judging by all the blood in the house, I'm, uh, I'm thinking they probably didn't make it there. So is this, like, do you know if this is monsters or government? Um, it's, well, we know it's, it's, um, dystopic. There's mechs in this, for sure. Okay. And like I said, this is set right towards the end of the Cold War. So, um, I mean, that gives you an idea of the, the type of world that it is. What's the Cold War? You think you're funny, but you're really not. Maybe I have kids that are watching that don't know what Cold War is. Uh, it's a war in the winter. No, the Cold War, and actually, I guess you are right. That is something I guess a lot of people these days would have only heard of in, um, in the history books. I don't remember a lot of it. I was born in '83, so I'm 35, be 36 this year. Mostly, what I remember, the first thing I remember is you know hearing about the damn commies, okay. um, hearing about you know Russia, but not really knowing what they were talking about. And then, um, you know, the, the, everybody was so excited about the fall of the Berlin Wall. Um, and then, so by, the, by 91, I had really, the, 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 so, uh, the Soviet Union was falling apart by the early 90s. Oh, wow. So most of what I was getting at that point, I was starting by 91, I would have been about eight or nine years old. And so I was starting to actually pick up on what was happening. History has always been a love of mine. And considering my family and my grandparents and everything, so. I didn't realize it was that recent. Oh, yeah. Um, if I remember correctly, if memory serves me correctly. <laughs> um, let's see. Fall of the... Hey, Mott Mott. Berlin Wall. Oh, hey, Mott. How are you doing? How's you, Ghost, and, you know, Mini Mott doing? Sorry I haven't made it over to his stream in a while. It's just the way everything's been going. I haven't had time to go to anybody else's streams much. I catch Zeke on the weekends and frag about midnight. By the way, happy Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, happy Mother's Day. So the fall of the Berlin Wall um, was November of 1991. That's why I guess I remember it. Because like I said, I was born in 83. So November of 91, I would have turned literally eight years old. So that would have been about the point at which, especially considering my grandfather, that I would have been paying a lot of attention to stuff like that. So, um, 
but yeah, so the fall of the Soviet Union has been within the last, um, one, yeah, okay, so it'll be 30 years in 2021. Dang. Yeah. God, yeah, I know a lot of people, when they think the fall of the Soviet Union, the fall of the Berlin Wall, they're thinking, you know, like ancient history, and it's really not. I mean, uh, kids now, so like, again, um, oh, okay, cool, I didn't, I, I have most of the notifications turned off because I usually keep Twitch up at work in the background to listen. Um, and so I guess I just hadn't missed, I guess I had missed the fact that he hadn't been streaming. Um, but yeah, so I mean, you think about it, um, you know, Minnie Mott, um, their parents, you know, uh, Mott and Ghost, lived through it. Mm -hmm. But their kids won't have. Yeah, because see, I have no memory of any of that stuff. Well, so you were born in 88. Yeah. So you would have been three years old, um, right before the Berlin Fall Well. The Berlin Wall fell. Spoonerism. Sorry, guys. Oh, awesome, Mott. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm trying to get back more in the habit of doing it. This is a game I think Ghost would probably enjoy as well. Um, I was just telling uh, Puck, it's set in the late 1980s in, um, you know, uh, in Sweden. Right at the height of the Cold War. It was me. Oh, okay. So... see. All right, so uh, what we're going to be doing, uh, oh, so, okay, so like I said, the reason that, so they talked about in the prologue how everybody was prepared for this, and that's because Sweden, if you pull up a map of Europe, so, and I'm glad I have this wireless keyboard, uh, so we're going to say map of 1980s Europe, because it was, it was changing slightly with the way the Soviet Union was um, growing and contracting as parts of it, especially in the early 90s, started breaking off. Um, so, Sweden... Oh, here we go. Fall of the Berlin Wall. Okay, so Sweden was... Let's see if I can get this to pull up and zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I need... West Bro, so there's Germany. So Sweden, Sweden. Oh, here it is. Okay, so Sweden. Um, if you look on the map here, hon. Okay. Um. Italy. Turkey. Okay, so Sweden, Sweden. <laughs> Can you guys tell us been that kind of a week? Sweden is here. It's the uh, middle finger, if you want to consider it this like a hand. Okay. Or actually, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Thumb, index middle so it's the ring finger actually if this was oh, a hand okay. um this would be the ring finger and the norway would be the pinky okay um and so as you can see right across this channel is the soviet union the big purple space um now i think if i understand correctly where we're at there's this small archipelago here okay. that's right between the soviet union and sweden okay i think that's where this game is taking place um, let me see if I can, I'm going to actually pause the game for a second, guys, because this is interesting enough. I kind of want to show this. Let me see if I can real quick. So let's do a new window. Uh, close all tabs to the right. All right, so this is omniatlas.com slash maps Europe. Let's say a period. Maps Europe one nine eight nine one 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 zero. Okay. All right. So give me just a second here to get OBS to um, capture. All right. So gameplay only computer. All right. So what we're gonna do real quick? We're gonna do a. Let's see if I can do it from the game capture here. Can't do it from that, so I guess I have to do a window capture. A window capture. I'm gonna have to set this up for like a history scene. Yep. Oh, let's see. Chrome capture. Oh, <laughs> already knew to pick that. That's funny. Might be 
in that show, I'm not sure. Hmm, wonder why it's not capturing. Oh, whoops, wrong game. Uh, wrong thing. I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, crap. There. Okay. It's interesting that it won't pick up. Alright, well, I hate to do this just because I really don't like the browser, but I'm going to pop up an Edge real quick because it seems like Edge um, may actually work better for this, which sucks because I hate Edge. Go back over, paste this in. Nope. Thank you. Would you please just go to the page? This is why I hate Edge. Ugh. Oh. You might have to just screenshot it and save it as an image. No, I've got one other way to do it. I just was hoping to avoid using it because I was trying that with, that was a game that was a uh, I think a game capture or no that was a window capture so let's see if I can do it with oh, Alright, so game capture, window capture doesn't work. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go with the one I didn't want to do, which was the display capture. Uh -huh. um, because that guarantees to um, capture the whole desktop. That's weird. I wonder if it's just... Alright, let's, let's flip it on over to the scene and see what it does.
There we go. Okay, so they sh everybody should be hearing me again. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot I pulled the mic out of some stuff, and it didn't show up automatically. My apologies. Um, so anyways, just to, to kind of explain, what you're seeing here is a map of Europe. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, if you look at this map, what, we were, what I was talking about with Puck, so Sweden is located in the... Um, it's basically the ring finger towards the top middle of the screen. So you've got the purple Soviet Union, which forms the thumb and the index finger. You've got Finland, that forms the middle finger. And trust me, if you know the Finns, they, give, they gave the USSR a big middle finger. Sweden is the ring finger, and Norway is the pinky finger. Um, and so where we are, if you see Sweden, um, it is going to be located in the um, little archipelago, this little island that's between Sweden and the USSR. So it's kind of that little green thing, or blue teal thing, between Sweden and, and the Soviet Union. Can you pop your camera up and just point to it? Um, you know, I hadn't tried that, but I don't see why I couldn't. Give me just one second, guys. Um, actually, I need to bump. Uh, some of this up anyways, so let's see, okay, come up a little higher, okay, wait a I think that's actually, okay, good, that's perfect, um, and then let me add in my camera here, plus video capture device, uh, add existing C270, okay, so, we are going to transition. This is interesting. I hadn't thought about this, doing this before. So let me pop this out of studio mode so I can see it's a little bit bigger. Um, so we're going to get me, which is right here. We're going to shrink me just slightly. Oops, come on. Yeah, um, yeah there we go. Well, no, because what I want to do is... So. Okay, other hand. There. Okay, so that that right there is, I believe, where the game takes place. So what this is is the archipelago that's between Sweden and the USSR. So um, I'm fairly certain that's that this is where we are at. Is my favorite. there we go? I've got to get used. Cause, okay, can I mirror, give me one second, guys. I need to, to do something real quick. Transform. Ah, there we go. So, now I can point more naturally, since I'm looking at myself. So, yeah, that's where we are, I'm fairly certain. This is the main country that's taking place. These are the potential aggressors over here in the Soviet Union. So, um, yeah. All right, let's, let me, um, actually, you know I'm going to do, give me one second here. I'm going to duplicate this. Uh, duplicate, and we're going to call it, uh... History lessons, because that was actually a really cool idea. I'm glad you suggested that. And it actually doesn't look terrible. A little, a little sparkly, but I think that's just the shirt. You're secretly a vampire. Always, it? always. All right, so let's get back to the uh, to the game. Okay, good. So the camera's back the way it was. Yes, Papa, you're good, Papa. Yes, you are. Oh, he always requires attention. He is sweet, Papa. Make sure all the other stuff closed out because I don't want to cause any more frame drops. Yeah, see, I'm back in the red and. Oh, weird. Okay, Mott, it was good to see you, as always. Tell Ghost and Minnie Mott that we said hi, and um, tell them to check out the history lesson, because you can probably correct me on anything I screwed up. Charles would have been in the, or Ghost would have been in the military um, not long after this took place. Gotcha. Well, wait a minute, no. Actually, he wouldn't have been. Bob would be, my coworker Bob. He was in Germany during the Cold War. So I may have to run some stuff by him and just make sure I got it right. So, Steam. So let's put 
back over to the game and hope that my net stays stabilized. Yeah, that's right. I forgot Mott. <laughs> I always get his age wrong because he's older than me. Hey. Oh, I cannot imagine what giving Comet hot and sour soup would do. Uh, no, we're not going to find out. That would be sucky for us. All right. Let's keep exploring. One of the things that I know Intech was just trying to show a lot of the stuff out there as quickly as possible. Um, so he didn't do as thorough uh, a search as I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to make sure I get everything because there are collectibles and loot and stuff. And the cool thing is, now one thing I do like about the game so far, is that when you enter what they consider a new zone or new area, mm -hmm. it um, they will give you a um, synopsis of what's in the area. Not of the actual items, but how many loot containers there are, collectibles, weapons, stuff like that. Alright. Which I like. I mean, yeah, technically it's a little helping, but on the other hand, you know, this is a game. It's not total real life simulator. Dude, okay, LGR would love this. <laughs> it kind of looks like the one my dad had, except, you know, without the giant speakers. Yeah, that's uh, like a Technic stereo system in the 80s. You got your turntable. Let me turn the light switch on. Oh, is the light in here not working? Or is there... There's there. Weird. I wonder why they have a switch. So anyways, so yeah, you got your vinyl here. Uh, looks like you've got your... AM, FM radio. Tuner. Yep, there's your tuner, your cassette deck. And then the equalizer on the bottom with the power button. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's like, like that. identical to the one my dad had. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. So, yeah. And like I said, so this is supposed to be 80s authentic. I mean, that's that was the whole purpose of this. So, if, if you are, grew up in the 80s, they say you're supposed to be... Ooh, bloody handprint. Um, this is supposed to be somewhat recognizable. Well, yeah, that's like my ex-girlfriend tried to claim she was an 80s kid. Because, you know, okay, and so she was born in 89. And I went, no. And she's born in, like, September of 89. I'm like, no, you are not a 90s. Not 80s. 80s kid. Not by any stretch of the imagination. That's like me claiming I was a, you know, 70s kid because I was born in 88. Well, no, that's like, uh, that would be like claiming you're a 70s kid because you were born in December of, like, 79. Can't claim to be of that decade. I, I freely admit that I'm a 90s brat, and I'm okay with that. That's right. It was Navy first and Army after 9-11. I do recall that. How do I have two sets of binoculars? Or is that just a graphical glitch? Yeah, how it got the same game with Okay, so again, talking about realism here. So now I'm going to pull up my binoculars. Oh, okay. And so I can see, I think I can do a little bit of a zoom in. Yep. So, but here, look, it's not like it's marking targets or anything like that, at least not yet. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just looking to see what's going on at the police car. Okay, nothing yet. All right, so let's switch back over to the gun. The gun? Yep. I'm trying to remember, is it going to be number three? Okay, three is the pistol. So, yeah, if you don't mind picking up the crunching stuff. I got it. I was actually going to use that anyway. Thank you. All right. So, I think I have cleared everything out of the house. So, now it's telling me to go to the uh, police car. To get ammo. Which I am not going to go directly there. Because, like Co, I am a loot whore. Loot. Yep. I just well the thing is is I mean from what I can tell this game is supposed to be semi realistic so ammo is not going to be like stupid plentiful I don't think. I'm sure you could find some if you knew the right strings to pull. Get it? Loot strings. Ah. I wasn't bad, honey. wasn't <laughs> the best I've ever heard. Certainly wasn't the worst. Do you need some assistance? No. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Right, so let's see what's down here. 
the about doc. Okay. Another thing to loot. I oh, got another first aid kit, flares, and a t-shirt. Anything else in here? Nope. All right, let me check my inventory real quick. Because I know one of the things you can do is also um, add different clothes. So. Oops. I wear none. Face, none. Face paint, none. Neck. Oh, silver necklace, cool. Jacket. Shirt. Band T Milk Marauder. That is apparently the band I'm wearing a shirt for. Thanks. Should be test turbo though. Oh, I agree. I wonder if I can make a custom decal for the game. That'd be cool. All right, let's say we. Uh, I. I wonder if you can make a custom decal for the game, honey. I would gladly do that. All right, nude gloves, dark blue. Ooh, those look pretty good. Wrists, none. Shoes, hip hop sneakers, black. Oh, hey, my shoes actually have a little bit of bullet resistance. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Still no ammo yet, but that will happen. That will come. Right, let's search the vehicle. Oh. Right. Is there something in the back seat? Is there anything in the trunk? Nope. So what I'm doing by doing this is there's a chance that there's loot in some of the vehicles. Okay. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So I'm searching the vehicles to see if there's anything of use. And actually, real quick, let me check something because I swear I should be in this audio. I mean, I know this is a, not a like super loud game, but. Desktop It's a very quiet game, I guess. See, I didn't realize, I thought the people had been gone longer. But it looks like that whatever happened occurred while we were on our vacation. So. It was interesting. Jump. Yep, do the jump. Can't get in there. Oh, interesting. So that is completely locked up. I have no way to get into that. Okay. See the police car. Ooh, searchable containers. What's in here? Ooh, ammo. Ha ha. Well, 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 I didn't have to go to the police car to get ammo yet. Good. Oh, Buckshot? Uh, I'll take that, please. I like Buckshot. Okay. I haven't even run into my first mech yet. Loot, weapons, collectible zero of one. Okay, so there's a collectible around here somewhere I have not gotten yet. Ooh, hi. Ooh, ammo. More ammo. Okay. Anything else I'm missing in the car? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Right. Color me cautious, but... 
When cautious, you go up. Mm, that's caution tape. Great. So by extension, would that make you yellow belly? No, like only if I taped my stomach up. I don't know, it just strikes me odd, you know, this long in the game and I haven't run into an enemy yet. I mean, I know part of what this is doing is getting me ready, but... It's rolling into a false sense of security. That I believe. Wow. Okay, dude, like, ran over something. Generator, maybe? No. I actually know what that is. I do know what that is. Meow, meow. She's in the silly zone. Wow, that's a lot of ammo. Why does it look so dark on the screen? Um, it shouldn't be. It looks like it's only capturing like half of it. One sec. Like... Jeez. Oh, yeah, it's weird. Sorry, guys. No, it's definitely showing up that way. I just don't know why. I wonder if it's the... Oh, okay. I bet it was due to that. Um, okay. I know, I know. She clear itself up in a second. I'm going to flip back over to her. Sorry for it to show back up on my Twitch. I've got it on the screen here. Okay, looks like it's back to normal. Sorry about that, guys. I had no idea that it wasn't showing up. I actually had not looked down at my screen, so I missed that. Thank you for catching that. All right, so let me see here what I need to do. All right. I don't think I've gotten, yeah, I've gotten some new stuff, but I don't think it's anything that... Inventory. Alright, what are you? Emergency flare. Firework. What I don't like is um, that actually some of the descriptions for items are automatically um, kind of spoilery. Read the description there. An emergency road flare that machines see as a target. Yeah. What machine? And why would they see it as a target? Is this going to be like Pokemon with machines? No. Uh -uh. Definitely to kill all the machines. I do know that. Alright. I got a decent amount of ammo though. So. Oh. Oh, okay. So that's communications. Got it. I can remember what was Crouch. Why does it not seem like keep things? Crouch, left control. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Please tell me those are picnic tables. Okay, good. Those are picnic tables. So, what else is over here? I don't see anything moving right now. Which is good. Right. I keep wanting to hit tab for my inventory. Um, Alright, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Locate and destroy an enemy. Okay, great. So I'm actually supposed to be looking for an enemy to kill them. Are you sure I really have to do that? I mean, I, I, you know, they haven't done anything to me yet. Oh, my God. Hmm. So, one of the people I follow shared that they made these instant prices um, casserole things. Apparently, you had a recipe for it. 
for it. Okay. That's not what I'm all, I'm all my gunning about. Mm-hmm. So they have their seasoning, you know, shakers with a literal picture of salt and pepper on their salt and pepper shakers. I'd have done the same thing. The only reason I haven't is just because i got to replace our salt shaker at some point. Yes, because evil keeps you. No, we don't know for certain it was uh, Honor. Could have been Asky. Asky is an angel. She would never have done that. Yeah, a fallen one. Oh, how dare you? You wound me, good sir. I haven't yet. All right, so that wants me to find an enemy. Oh, hey, here we go. Ooh, a lot more ammo. All the ammo? Ooh, okay, now I did see Intac use... Ah. Sorry, uh, my back is pinching something. So, um, I did see Intac use these, and this is going to be fun, I think. You can put down the explosive canister and lure machines to it, okay. and then shoot it. Machines go boom. Do they go boom? Yes, they do. They go boom. Okay. Get into this garage thing. Does anyone actually have an entrance? Weird. Okay. Yeah, all right. So it looks like you can't get into that building. Glad I, glad I went ahead and um, searched the vehicle though. So, whoops. All right, actually, let me check the key bindings real quick because I want to see if I can adjust the inventory. I want to see what tabs used for right now. Oh, tabs not used for anything. Awesome. So. Time to make it used for something. Yeah. So, what was the fall of the Berlin Wall about? So, the Berlin Wall was a wall that the Soviet Union constructed between East and West Germany, and it actually went further than that. The idea was that they didn't want people escaping from Soviet Russia over to democratically occupied territory. Okay. It was a literal wall, and they would shoot anybody that tried to cross over from either side. Yeah, there's images of people, you know, dead in the wall all the time. Because, I mean, it was not just a... On our side, we mostly just saw the concrete side, but there was barbed wire and all sorts of stuff on the other side to keep people from escaping. Oh. Yeah, because it could also be very bad publicity for the Soviet Union. I mean, communism's not working if people are trying to escape from it. So... So they built the wall to keep the people in, essentially. Pretty much. Um... Yep. So, the fall of the wall was basically, um, they had been, Reagan in particular, had been um, requesting that Mikhail Gorbachev, the communist president of Russia at the time, president being a very, very loose term, um, he requested that he tear down the wall and let the Germans reunite for one thing. Mm-hmm. All right, I have still not seen an enemy yet. But I know there has to be one around here somewhere. Otherwise, they wouldn't have told me to go find and destroy one if there wasn't around here, one around here to find and destroy. So I'm looking for movement of any kind. There's one. Oh, yeah. Aren't you ugly? Ugly son of a bitch. All right. I'm going to see if I can do this the way that he did. I don't know that I'm going to be able to, but we are going to try. I actually have fairly decent aim. Okay, good. He didn't see me. Um, if you stay crouched, they're not supposed to be able to see you that easily. Uh, the more noise you make, though... Which is one of the reasons why I'm also not trying to run. Um, can cause them to detect you. Here we go. Alright, so. Alright. 
right, so good. He's not moving at the moment. Nobody is facing him. I know, that's fine. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know that I can. Oh crap, sound is definitely not working. Oh god, okay, so there is no pausing. Oh god, where is he? I think it is. So it's showing his online for me. Oh god. Wow, wow. Alright, so sound. Why is it not? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me know if anything else shoots at me, please. Okay. Okay. Sounds... Output device. Oh, well, that would do it. Wow, I'm surprised my audio hasn't sounded way worse. Well, whatever you did, apparently, you know, it was good for, for you know, voice settings. Oh God, there's another one. Oh crap. Oh, there it is. You see what they mean by realistic? Yeah. But I gotta figure out what to I may have to save and reload the game. Where'd he go? Come here, you old so and so. So and so. He ran off. There he is. Because he was hanging by a thread. You got him on pins and needles now. Oh God. Oh, uh, I'm being shot at. Five. Oh. Three. Dude, it looks like the robot from Boston. There it goes, got it. Yeah, I think that's the point. Is it to me? All unsafe. Not that for you. All unsafe progress will be lost. Crap. How do I know how? How do I save? I bet Merlin's stuck in the bathroom or something. Not again. He sounds unhappy. Are you happy? So, give me one second, guys. I need to figure out how do you save in this game. How to save in Generation Zero. Here we go. If you'd like to exit the game, easiest way is to fast travel to a safe house. Okay, cool. So I'm going to save it and reload it so okay. that I can hopefully... Um, Oh yeah. We make funny noises. We come running. Exit to desktop. See if I get to reload with the right sound options this time. You can do it. It's just irritating. I didn't realize that was what was happening. So is this dumb? There it goes. 
Hmm? Is this done by like an indie game company? This, I don't know if they're indie or not, but this is their first uh, release. Um, it's by Avalanche Studios, and they're a Swedish developer. That's why the game's primary language Isn't is it? Swedish, yeah. So, okay, cool, good. I respond back here, which is fine, because I needed to go under my inventory anyways. I've remapped the inventory to tab. Yeah. All right, so, all right, I'm going to actually shift this over. So, I got first aid kits on four, emergency flares on five. And that's really it so far. So 762, buckshot, uh, hollow point, full metal jacket, bird shot, and full metal jacket. Okay, so can I combine these two? No. Oh, okay. Oh, so if I want to shoot off pieces of the machines, I want to use hollow point. If I want to shoot off uh, full metal, if I want to, like, k just kill them in general, uh, full metal jacket. Interesting. Yep. All right. Oh, and actually, there said there was a... Let me go back under the key bindings real quick. See, it feels nice to actually be able to hear something now. Interact is E. Aim mode is right mouse button, zoom in, zoom out, reload. Cycle fire mode. Okay. Cycle vision mode. I bet that's if I get like night vision or something at some point. Okay, cool. That works. So let's see what my current objectives are. Uh, follow the road to look for a safe place. Okay. Okay, so the pistol only has one fire mode, it looks like. So let's check the map. You are here. Okay. Follow the road to look for a safe place. Um, well, in that case, I think what I'm going to do is... Okay, so we're not on the tiny island. We're on the big island next to the tiny island. No. Remember that thing I was showing you? Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, yeah, but... We're not in on Sweden, the main country. That's what I was saying. We're on the archipelago, like in the middle of that ocean air, or sea area between. Got it. So, all right, so let me go ahead. I want to know what love is. Um, so I'm going to put a waypoint there. And I'm going to put a... Can I place another waypoint there? Nope, I can only place one waypoint at a time. All right, so let's head down to one. I think one was where I... Okay, so yeah, I've been to one. So let's go to this one here. It's a little further past it. Oh, um, what other things did I get? Profile. Um, oh, cap forward. Oh, lose my hair? If I put a cap on? I guess I must fall, tuck it all up in there. If you were going against zombies, it would make sense why you would do that. Yeah, if I go ahead and do that, it makes sense. I use the type that as soon as he starts headbanging, the cat just busts off and just, you know, overflow locks just take over his face. No, I like the dark blue gloves. I love that they have period accurate high top sneakers. That just amuses me to no end. Alright, so I don't want to crouch as I'm going like everywhere because that's going to like severely slow me down. But I need to make sure I keep a good eye out for any kind of movement. You see, I'm not going to follow the road directly to get to where I'm going because that is stupidity. 
if you are going to be guarding against people trying to find or attack you, the first thing you're going to be keeping an eye on is the roads. Mm -hmm. So let's see if I can get a high enough vantage point here that I can use the binoculars to scout. Ah, this should be perfect. How about this rock? And grab my binoculars and let's see what I see. So I'm just again looking for any more evidence of movement or machines. And I'm not seeing either right now. Now it's possible that there's some that's just resting on the other side of the building there that I can't see, but risk I gotta take. Oh, thanks, Jarrett. I appreciate it. And welcome to the stream, by the way. I don't know if this is your first time here, but I don't recall your name before, so thank you for joining us. Yeah, I've actually, I'm doing death counters now for a lot of games. I'm saving them as text files on the computer and then having OBS read them. The way my system's set up, I've got a control computer in front of me, so I can edit the file on the control computer without exiting the game, and it'll update in OBS. So, um, yeah, keeping track of that, and... It's a good way to let people know how much I suck. In a good way. So, but welcome, welcome. I hope you are having a good Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world right now. How's the, uh, how's the audio sounding for you? I like to ask people if they come in. Let's see. So, it's interesting because the handgun... Full Metal Jacket rounds are the common rounds, and I believe actually under the Geneva Conventions, um, Full Metal Jacket is the only round type allowed um, anymore because hollow points cause so much internal damage. Yeah, now aren't hollow points the ones that basically spread the shrapnel? Yeah, so when the a hollow point hits you, or just or as it leaves the barrel, um, it, it's spreading out. Um, and so when it hits you, I mean, you might have either a medium-sized hole and then a big hole in the back, or you will see just a big hole in general. Got it. Um, with that being the case, you would use hollow points against human targets, fleshy things. Mm -hmm. Full metal jacket, since they are, again, they're not hollow, they stay in the same shape the whole time. They're good for punching through stuff, so like armor. Um, but that's also like the difference between, you know, buckshot and birdshot. The so buckshot uh, for a shotgun is much bigger, and um, so it's going to penetrate armor a lot more easily. Birdshot, you have more pellets per shot, mm -hmm. so if you've got an unarmored target, it's going to do more damage against them, just because it's got more it can hit you with. Ah. And then, of course, you have the third type of shotgun round, which I very rarely have ever seen in games. And that is the um, the uh, slug for a shotgun, which is like the big bullet. I don't know very many games that actually get at that granular. Honestly, I'm surprised this thing has two different types of shotgun shells. Most games don't, but this one seems to be striving, like I said, for a much more realistic tone. Now, is there any difference between that binocular and those? All right, so it looks like that's the same one. Same type. Um, there, I do know there is weapon conditions in this game, weapon and item conditions. Oh, I hate that. No, well, again, it's realistic. As you use something, unless you are bothering to clean it, you know, stuff wears out. Yeah, and see, like, games like this, I personally don't like playing. I like watching, I just don't like playing them because I get so frustrated if I'm, like, in the middle of something and then my weapon breaks. Because it's like, you know... Yeah, I, I get you're being realistic, but I want to play a game. I want to be fancy. Well, and that's, but that's just it. You want to play that type of game. Somebody else wants to play something more realistic. They want to, if, you know, somebody likes to say they couldn't join the military, but they want to practice military tactics. You know, it's, it, this is a good way for them to do that. All right, so there's nothing here. So what I'm going to do then, um, I'm going to head up to this spot because it's like a weird circle here. I don't know what it is, and then I'm going to pop over to what looks like a settlement here. It's still Monday there, apparently. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm glad you, um, I hope you enjoy the game as much as I do, Jarrett. Uh, yeah, when it comes to, so I'm a computer science person. My degree's in CS. But I originally wanted to go to school for history, computer science, and my teaching license. 
So um, I actually have a very varied background. And with my grandfather, um, having served in World War II as an electronics and radar tech, he was in the Army Air Corps in the Pacific. I picked up a lot of historical stuff. I've got a lot of friends who are uh, current or former military all over the world. And so it's fun. I pick up a lot of these, these tidbits from them over time. Uh, and I like to share it with others. Knowledge is something I feel should be shared and not just hoarded. So if I can educate somebody and give them some cool knowledge that may serve them useful or even it's just cool to know in the future, then I'm going to do my best to do that. Well, I'm glad that you, you know, gave me that little rundown about the Cold War because honestly, other than the fact that it was like an arms race or something like that, I heard something I thought in the game. So. Okay. You know, I didn't really have much knowledge of it. So I wonder why this... Oh, okay, I know why this showed up on the map. This is a partially to, uh, partial topographic map. So a, topo a topographic map will show you, using lines like this, um, the elevation of land masses. You know, if, it's, if there's no circle, then it's flat or whatever the elevation for that area is. And then circles usually mean higher. So in this case, what I just did was I climbed a small hill. High enough that it's got an elevation thing. Okay. So let's go over to this area now. So like I said, I want to fully explore this part of the island. or, or Well, because we're on an island that's part of the archipelago now. So I want to follow that until I can get down to, um, and then I'll start working my way back up. But yeah, a thing. I mean, the thing is, is you never want to just follow the road up. That's for amateurs. I mean, if if the military wants to like stop civilians, they, or even some, you know. Well, mostly civilians. I mean, the first thing they're going to watch is the road. So you need to be like me and try to break the game with a horse. Uh, I don't think there are horses in this game. They're probably all horse jerky by now. Which is a funny D&D &D story I need to tell you about again sometime. Yeah. Slick VT join the session. How? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't reset the multiplayer settings. I don't know who that is. So why don't you just kick him out? Yeah. There we go. Sorry, I don't know who that is. So if I knew who that was, or if they like, they let me know in chat before they joined. Um, I might be willing to play with them, but I don't know who that was. Sunday, not Monday. Two years ago, software development degree. Yeah, no, definitely, Jarrett, definitely. Yeah, I work for, um, I'm a systems administrator by trade. Um, and so, you know, I know from a security standpoint that not all information should be shared. But I also believe that when possible... You should share information. Uh, curious, what do you code in? So you said he's been developing code, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I was about to say, what's your preferred language, Jarrett? I'm a, I'm a Python and C++ guy. And then my partner is learning. Yes. Asterisk, learning. Interesting little settlement here. Anything of use. It's like a shanty, kind of like a hunting shanty almost. Interesting little cook stove. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a backpack. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? Makeup. Red lightning makeup. Oh, interesting. Oh, an adrenaline shot. Oh, that's going to be fun. Is that... The red lightning makeup a reference to oh god oh god I can see his face in my head I just can't remember what his name is oh yeah it looks kind of like Kane 
No, no, Bowie. Oh, David Bowie, maybe. Yes. That that has to be Bowie. That's interesting. Oh, what's this? Another backpack. Ooh, a tucked collar shirt and some fireworks. It gives me some fire resistance. Map wise, what else is back here? All right, I'm gonna go to the tip of this area here just because I want to see what's there. Yeah, see, lightning makeup. Oh, nice. Well, this is the '80s. Remember, this was set in the '80s, which was Bowie's, you know, decade basically. I still need to go through and actually play again Bowie's game, Omicron: The Nomad Soul. He made a game. Yeah. Yeah, he designed and made his own uh, video game. Holy crap. Well, not made it himself. I mean, he did the concepts. He did the music for it. Still, that's two really big parts of it. Yeah. Uh, he and his uh, partner, um, I-Man, um, were characters in the game. Voices and characters. Nice. And there's actually a whole secret concert. You have to do a certain set of things in a certain order to see it, but there's actually a Bowie concert in the game with him singing. So. Alright, let's go to the tip of the island here, see what I see. Do you see what I see? A bar, a bar, by your ring around to try to make the cupid go down. Alright, so this is interesting. I don't see... Anything bad here? I just, I'm one of those people that likes to explore things like, you know, 100%. C sharp. With Java back end as well, currently seeing Cobalt Oh, okay. Oh, God. Good old COBOL. Common uh, common business-oriented language. Uh, that was what that and Fortran were what a lot of banks, insurance companies, and stuff like that tended to use to code their mainframes. Um, and one of the reasons why you still have to have people maintaining it today is because a lot of those legacy systems are still in use. It was like watching uh, Lazy Game Reviews do that article or that video about the IRS's computing systems. I'm just curious, does Jarrett wear glasses? Why? To help him see sharp. Wow, that's terrible. That is you. That was bad, and you should feel bad. If I had said it, I wouldn't feel bad because I never feel bad about my jokes. But I mean, you definitely should after that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel back because I don't think there's anything I'm gonna find here. So we're going to fast travel, and then we're going to head up to where it wants me to go now. So apparently I'm still missing a collectible here. Interesting. Yeah. Follow the road to look for a safe place. So I'm assuming they mean like maybe the nearest like town? Place the waypoint there. What if I jump from this high? Oh, that hurt me. It's good to know. Let me go ahead and use a... Okay, good. I've got plenty of health kits. So, go back, go back to my pistol. Oh, he's never heard that joke before. Mm-mm-mm. Bye. I did already check the orange card, didn't I? Oh, apparently I didn't check the orange car. Is that how I potentially missed a collectible? Come here, Alfie. Right. Let's head up the road and make it, see if I can make it to the church. I 
it went that way, right? It's the way I went before. Yes. Okay. Oh, really? You don't tell me that. I hope they fix that. Because it looks like this is a case of where the uh, ammo and stuff refills over every time you load the game up. Um, hey, question. Somebody spray on catnip or something? Why? Because ASCII is going to town on the carpet. Beats me. Maybe she has an itch. Or maybe she's just weird. Well, she is my cat. She is asking. Oh, by the way, you'll appreciate this, Jarrett. So, one of our cat's names is is Shell Asky Martin. Let's crouch since I don't know what's coming up. Get my binoculars going here. Maybe I need a bat there. I don't know why I'm whispering. That is a habit of mine. You know, oh, if I was a developer, I would totally be one of those dickish developers that had it set so if you had your mic going, the game could actually receive feedback from it, and the enemies would hear you. There are games like that, but no, as a rule, they can't. They no developer will set that by default without notifying the player. Because that's the fastest way to a lawsuit, that they're being recorded. So. Um, I didn't think of it as a recorded thing. I thought of it more as it would register the levels. Yeah, that's still, it's got to record the audio to do it. Even if it's just a temporary file, there's still sound pieces being recorded on your system. Interesting. Yeah, so. I didn't realize it wouldn't be possible to just have it be kind of a... Uh, mm, it's got to hook into your audio system to do that. Well, yes, but more so... I'm trying to think of the best way to describe, like... It is not a pass-through. There's no such thing as pass-through in computing. Everything is recorded on the system in some form, even if it's just there temporarily. I mean, like, RAM clears when you reboot the computer, but stuff like audio would still be recorded there while the computer's analyzing it. Have a good night, Jarrett. Yeah, absolutely. Um, feel free to throw me a follow. Um, I'm working on streaming more. I'm trying to get... So my schedule, I'm working on my schedule. I'm trying to do Tuesdays, Thursdays, um, two hours a night at least. Um, and then Friday, sometimes after one of my friend's streams that we help mod for. And then definitely on Saturdays and Sundays. So yeah, we definitely hope to um, see you back. Thank you for stopping by. That reminds me, actually, I do need to remember to... Oh, and thank you for the follow, sir. That is very much, I'm assuming, sir. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um... I do appreciate it very much for the follow. Um, and I'm definitely this, I'm looking forward to playing this more, so. Dude, my dude's got a hell of a vertical leap. He's like a lion. He can jump 30 feet in the air. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh, was that um, Today I Learned, or was that a different one? That was a picture somebody had posted on Tumblr. Oh, yeah. I thought there was somebody that had talked about that, though. They explained it under the picture that no lions cannot leap 30 feet into the air. If that happened, it would have scared everybody over in that continent, and there wouldn't be people. True. They can leap forward 30 feet, but not vertically. That really would be impressive. All right, let's see. We're starting to get close to the target. As you can see the building. So... Crouched, crouch, they crouched. That would be like the lions used the uh, game genies to disable gravity mode. Yeah, no kidding. Probably her and Merlin fighting. Oh, I was going to say, okay. I didn't see Asky had left. Sorry, just with all the cats, you know, I've been sick or injured lately. I'm just a little nervous whenever I hear a funky meow. Alright, so what's up ahead? Oh, a turned over car and an enemy. Let's see if I can keep him out of line of sight. Alright, so if I stay crouched like this, he shouldn't be able to see me. 
is I've got the car between me and him. And so if I don't take him out in like one shot, um, he'll probably alert the other enemies. I do know that there is a way to um, disable them in like one or two shots. So we're going to try that real quick. What'd you do? Oh. Another terrible pun. Go back and see that. Where are you? The hell? Oh, oh crap! Yep. Doesn't even look like it's got legs. It looks definitely has legs. Oh crap! There's more than one of them. Um, uh, I could, but, oh god, um, you know what, you, you just, you just leave me. Oh god, things have a, again, those things have a hell of, speaking of Boston Dynamics, oh god, oh god, oh god, four, three, four, four, Three, okay, six. Uh, oh god. Got him. Oh god! How many more are there? Oh, and I am dead. Enter, revive, use one adrenaline shot. Oh, yes. Alright, so we're gonna get behind this tree real quick. Well, no, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try exactly what you suggested. Oh, the gas can? Yep. Six. Uh, okay. Eight. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Three. Ow. No, it did, but... Why are there so many robots everywhere? That's the problem, we don't know. Like oh, God. Uh, back to my safe spot. Wow. Okay, so... First things first. And let's see, desktop. Yeah, no. I need to get my bot set back up too. Okay. Oh. Do me a favor. I'm going to move the. Uh, death counter real quick on the screen because I just realized that it is blocking. Uh, turn studio mode off. I did not realize that it was. Oops. Sorry guys, you're going to see this in real time. Oh, that was why it was looking so funny. You should probably move yourself more towards the middle. Oh, good point. Thank you for catching that. Um, actually, I'm going to set myself above it. There. Cool. Alt tab. Back over. Oops. I love the way the graphics kind of flip out when I do that. All right, so that was interesting and painful. That was a learning experience. <clears throat> Ow. All right, so let's, okay, so I got my waypoint there. I wonder if that barrel will still be there. 
I'm hoping so. Because what I want to do, besides having some fun, is um, see if I can lure them to the barrel. So I know that there's a tool that you can get to distract the enemies, um, but I have not received one of those yet. And so I have absolutely learned I should not try to um, take all these guys out at once. What are you? What is this? Oh, that's interesting. A small EMP cell? That's interesting. I've not seen that before. What is that? EMP cell. Battery cells rigged to trigger an electromagnetic pulse when hit. Interesting. Get close to the enemy and have that equipped. Tempted. A firework. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Emergency road flare. Right, I'm going to put the container back up here, and I'm going to move the fireworks down there, because the fireworks may hopefully help me from getting killed again. And what's this? A fuel cell? To be placed on the ground and used as an explosive when shot. Oh. So, yeah. So what we were originally doing is probably not going to work. Well, no. So the idea is, is that you can lure them in um to an explosive barrel with like the sound device that they have to distract them mm -hmm. and then blow them up good noise that's honor cleaning herself so yeah I like the day-night cycle so far. It seems, I haven't learned exactly what it is yet, but it seems to be consistent. I just have another terrible joke. Go for it. What did the robot say when his paint job got scratched? What? Machine! Wow. Yeah, you should feel bad for that. <laughs> I know, that's why you and I work so well together. <laughs> Good news is, the corpses of the ones I killed should still be there. So you gonna lose them? Oh, hell yeah. You do know me, right? No, who are you? You is long with geek? Mm-hmm. So that's where I was. So let's go up this way then and see. Back on the Charlie. Shoot all the things, drink all the beer. Now I was just gonna do my hundred proof corn whiskey again. <laughs> Terrible. Bro, I had no problem. Yeah, you just sat there smiling. Well, yeah. You're just like, ah, it burned. It's a good replication for a soul. Pretty much. Oh, good, they are still damaged. That was not a good idea. Crap. I hope I did not alert him. Right, how many are there? Let's see that one. That's the only one I see right now. Just to be sure. I don't see any others.
tree I can get to before he'll absolutely see me. Where the fuel cell go? There it is. Shoot, where did I put the fuel cell? Okay. Come here, bud. Now, do you have to worry about him shooting you with it? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I don't want to be around when he hits it. If he hits it. I was hoping to use this to take him out, but. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. There's like a oh god, there's another one behind me. Mm -mm. Uh, apparently I'm picking him up somewhere. No, the this moves. I know. So I'm he's saying. straight ahead. There he is. Oh god, that was yeah. terrifying. No. There is actually a little bit of bullet drop with this. What's bullet drop? Over distance bullets drop due to gravity. Oh, following the curvature of the earth. Right? Yeah. Ooh, that was all the first aid kits I have left. That wasn't good. Wasn't there like some kind of sniper that got like World record kind of thing. Yeah, it was um, over like it took. It was so far. Um, he actually had to have like major assistance from his spotter to hit it because um, it was almost. I'm thinking it was two miles or a mile. It was. It was a very long distance. God, imagine having to make those kind of calculations and like. I'm not sure how much time he had, but. Well, okay, in the case like that, he had plenty of time. Sniping is not generally a run-and-gun thing. But still, like, imagine having to make, like, all those things to account for. So, like, oh, yeah. And well, and you see, that's why most snipers have... There's two things that come with every sniper. You've got the sniper, and then you've got the spotter. Oh, that's going to make a terrible joke. You've got the sniper, and then you've got the little charge. There was a joke with Sniper from TF2... Did he pee in yeah, no, that's not surprising. It's not a joke. Oh. I didn't know that was actually a real thing. But yeah. They can't just move. New mission. Uh, hunter. Found the hunter's house called Bjorkness. Bjork? Bjork. Not but orc. They must have, that must have won the vehicles hit, not one I destroyed. You just let you lose it? Nope. He's okay. Alright, fireworks. I, have, I should have used some fireworks, but I didn't. What do we got here? Are you kind of like, uh, like me and Co, where it says, okay, this is 
finite resources, so be careful not to use it too much. And it's like, you save it for the very last battle. Well, I mean, in some games, you have to do that. Um, it's not a choice. I mean, literally, you have no other option here. I'm trying to make sure there isn't anything in the vehicle I missed. Okay, let's see. So, I know there's at least one or two of these idiots I killed over here. There we go. No, uh uh. I mean, I have one in my inventory, I think. Let's put that back down here. Let's move the fireworks back there. Well, the good news is, um, I should be clear most of the way to the church. Bad news is, I use a lot of stuff to get to that point. I just didn't screw myself over that way. I may go till 11.15 or so. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, it's some up and functional at the moment. Oh, I already searched him. I guess I yeah. did. That was the one that you Where's the other one? The there was another one that I just shot and killed. I got them all. Okay. Just didn't want to miss any loot. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to see, uh, get ortho to see me soon. Uh, it's just starting to become more than a little more comfortable. I can amputate it. Yeah, tempting. Remember, the combat is not always the best approach. Sometimes being stealthy pays off and saves bullets. Yeah, but so far I haven't seen a reason why I need to save bullets, honestly. Are you playing on normal, or does this have difficulties? This doesn't really have difficulties, near as I can tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, as you said, I'm not seeing anything to indicate to me that I really need to be careful with ammo. Maybe for some of the, the better weapons I'll need to at some point, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'm not seeing anything yet that says it should. Shame you can't like these bikes. Come on. Think you're Freddie Mercury? No. Oh, bicycle. Bicycle. But I am definitely fat bottomed. That bum girl's when you're walking around, get on your bikes and ride. I was going to say, if you didn't know that song, I was about to be very disappointed. Alright, so there's nothing in any of these buildings. Great. Just great. Alright. One of the things I'm looking for is for sparks and light. Sparks indicate a damaged enemy. Lights indicate an enemy that is actively searching. more of a runner and gunner, but after watching InTech play, I know that's not something I can 
just do in this game. But I'm getting it. At least my character's ass is not dummy thick. Yeah, a clap of my ass would probably alert all the beat robots. Speaking of which, I don't see any in the moment. Did I actually? Oh, oh, there they are. I don't see them. Oh, I do. One, two. I see two so far. Oh. Yeah. I'm only seeing the two though. I wonder if I took out all the rest of their buddies. Interesting. All right. So in that case, let's see. Can I? We're gonna work on. We're gonna replace that for a second. We're gonna do this. Oh, I got the game's like warning me you should be stealthy, and I'm like, uh, screw you, game. Do I look like Metal Gear Solid? Yeah. Again, I do have a dummy thick ass. I would really. Alright, it's a seven. Where are we at right now? Let's zoom back out. One. Uh oh. There's one, or there's two. Okay. So, question. If I go back to this. Oh, nope. Oh shit. Whoops, well, I need to do that anyways. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Five. What the? Did he just drop it? Oh my god. Dude. Oh god. Oh, good cool way to do it. Where's that damn container? Now we can free one. Yep. No, I'm using the full metal jacket for it. Good job. And you got lots of this, so you don't need an HP thing. No, I do. I got two health points. Oh, the red disappeared, so... I yeah. That meant that... No, it means more, I'm no longer in combat. Wow! You did good. Yeah, I survived. Makes me warm and fuzzy on the inside. Good grief. I was not expecting to survive that. But the good news was is the explosion damaged them enough that I was able to take them out. There's another small fuel cell. 
If I'd used the big fuel cell, I probably or the, the explosive tank, I probably would have taken them all out. But. So, question: How similar is the landscape here to how Ice Point was? Is there any kind of similarities whatsoever? I know. I've, I've never left the U.S. So. I know. No. Um, the Iceland is ice, obviously. Uh, no, it's not. It's got a lot of, of, I mean, it's just like everywhere is like everywhere. It's just not covered in ice like people think. No, because Iceland and Greenland decided to switch the names to throw people off. Well, no, that's not what happened. They didn't decide <laughs> that. The explorers that discovered it did. Oh, yeah, we're going to call this one Greenland. There's going to be a lot of ice. We're going to call this one a lot of green. Well, yeah, the reason they did that was so that people um, wouldn't take their prime real estate. Got it. I guess if I was going overseas, I would have taken my balls off. Well, yeah. I wouldn't want to stay there. If you call, it, if you call you know, uh, Iceland, Greenland, you know, everybody's going to want to go there because, hey, it's green. All right, so I need to be careful here because I think there's probably still some more enemies around. I doubt that is all of them. I guess it's possible. Oh, oh. yep. Oh, nice. God. See? Yep. I literally just. I need to get into the church. Because I know there's health packs in the church. I've just got to get in there. You see anything moving? Come on. Oh, they got a first aid kit. Oh, good, another adrenaline shot. So I've got to revive. Yeah, they, they knew. Uh, is that another health kit, too? Yep. Good. And they knew at this point you would be needing it, so. Good on you, developers. All right, we'll go for the, so the all color. Okay. It's something I wear. Aren't you concerned that that might make you easily spotted? No, that's green, so it should hopefully blend in a little bit better. And I don't know, since it doesn't have any attributes on it, if that even matters here. with the bullet resistance. I think. <laughs> Oh good, I got a new respawn point unlocked at least. Uh, appears someone had their family weapon for their son to find. Uh, called o Old Betton in a secret place they both know about somewhere in the church. Okay, cool. That's good. Makeup, one eye. Okay. All right, I 
still need to be quiet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that other health pack. Because I still only got like 27 hit points. In the church. That none of them are in the church. Oh, okay, this is what I was talking about, radio. It's a cassette, it's a boombox. And so this, you can have it play to lure enemies to a location. So, like when I have the explosive tank, um, I can use that beside it to lure the enemies there and then blow them the hell up. But won't that blow up your radio? Well, the radio is a single-use item, yeah. It's intended to be used, though. All right, so it's like a, group, a bunch of people are hiding out here in the church. And more first aid kits. Oh, looks like another radio. More first aid kits. You can, and the thing is, is I've got a very limited inventory right now. So pretty much all I can hold is up to this point. So let's go ahead and put the first aid kits back down in four. Um, Too bad you can't combine the radios. I know. There's a few things you can combine. Radios aren't one of them. Or the tanks. Kidding. Or much like me after a long day of working, cute. Or theft after a couple of shots, puke. That's terrible. Truthful. I think if I was staying at a church, I'd probably would really want to puke. No, they're not meant to be comfortable. They're deliberately designed not to be. Yep. Otherwise, the parishioners would fall asleep during church, especially ones that have been working all week. Mm -hmm. So, no, it is the, the pews are pretty much deliberately designed to uh, to keep people awake. Oh, that's pretty, uh, oh I've, I've uh, trained myself to sleep just by anywhere. At almost a moment's notice. Very useful skill to have. Alright, take all. So let's see what we've got right now. Uh, three radios, another firework. I wonder how many stacks per... Oh, okay, so it looks like it's five per stack of those. Um, oh, okay, five per stack of med kits. Um, buckshot, birdshot... Full metal jacket. Oh, that's submachine gun ammo, so I don't have a submachine gun yet. Okay, adrenaline shot. Okay, handgun, full metal jacket ammo. Molar PP, 32. Okay, so that's, okay, so that's 32, not a 9 millimeter. Got it. I'm going to check clothes in just a minute. Reload what? You're done. Oh no, it, it is. I think it automatically reloads after a firefight. I definitely know it reloaded um, for a while. Uh, message left on whiteboard says we've gone to Stenhaga Farm to meet up with the Andersons. Go there, Johnny. An arrow points to the west. I'm absolutely enjoying it right now. Let's see, let's see what else is up here. In my inventory. Oh, my inventory is probably close to full. But the radios, I probably what I should do is probably keep one more radio than I have explosive tanks for. Um, so that way I just have one in case I ever need it.
when they give you new things to use in combat, that means combat's going to start getting harder. Oh, yeah. You found no found next to old baton. Whoo! Pop action shotgun. It's an old shotgun, but it will do the job. No, um, so I have three, there, there are three weapon slots that we have. Um, you've got a shotgun, a rifle, or two primary and a sidearm. Um, right now, all I know of is the rifle and the shotgun and the pistol. So. And so it's a dilapidated, which means that... It's, it's not going to be as effective as some of the better ones. See, one thing I did find out from watching um, NTAC play is the, um, unfortunately, um, you can't shoot through windows. But you can shoot the bell. I'm not going to. I don't want to waste ammo. You don't want to lure everybody again? Nope. Okay, so interestingly, uh, how many rounds do I have? So that is 12 gauge bird shot. Bird shot. How much buck shot? Bird shot. Wait, was that all the rounds I had for the shotgun? Was that was it? I thought I had more shotgun rounds. I guess I didn't. Hmm. Try and sort. All right, so let's all right. Let's move some stuff around then. So I don't think I need, I think, all right, if I drop this, okay, good. So yeah, that was apparently an extra binocular I didn't need. Okay. So. Are you going to put all your explosives in one spot? Yeah, that's what I'm going to shoot for. <laughs> Adrenaline, flare, firework. firework. Okay, good. Refill that. So yeah, it looks like it stacks a five. there. Alright, so EMP cell, we're gonna put that there. Small fuel cell here. Leave that empty if I can for now. So submachine gun ammo. So let's go ahead and sort so full, that's my standard pistol ammo. All right, that's my standard other pistol ammo. 243 soft point. Uh, okay, so that's a rifle round. Um, I don't uh, do greater damage to delicate technological components, but less to armor plating. So they're kind of like hollow points for a rifle. Got it. Nine millimeter handgun, nine millimeter SMG. Bird shot. Yep. So this one's shotgun. We'll move that one up there. There. Pretty My OCD is happy now. And then just to save. I fast traveling back to the church, I should have just saved the game. Um, hmm. All right, because I don't want to get too much further into it since it's already 11:15. We'll play this one again. Um, if not tomorrow night, depends on how Paul's feeling. Is when the night streams. Yeah. 
Um, we'll play it again on Tuesday for sure. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying watching it. I'm not getting sick from it, so. That's always a good thing. All right, then. Well, in that case, all right, let's go ahead and uh, flip back over to you know, the full screen camera, and I'm going to exit this. All right, guys, thank you very much for coming by for my beginning of the playthrough of Generation Zero, again, by Avalanche Studios out of Sweden. Uh, this is not a sponsored stream or anything. I literally am just playing it because I've heard good things about it, wanted it for a while, and I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, so expect to see more of it here. Um, other than that, um, I don't know anything else. So... Uh, tomorrow night, as always, uh, unless Drunken Master Paul is sick, we'll be over there from 9 Eastern to 11 Eastern, or 6 Pacific to 8 Pacific. Um, and then I'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, rule of thumb is uh, either 8 Eastern or 9 Eastern, and then we'll go to either 10 or 11. just depends on how I'm feeling and stuff like that. So, as always, thank everybody for coming by. Thanks for following. If you liked us, go ahead and throw us that follow. Um, if you like us, like us, go ahead and throw us subscribe. If you've got Amazon Prime, you've got a free Twitch sub you can give to anybody that's just sitting there. Holy um, crap, are you serious? 100% free just for having Amazon Prime? Yeah, just link your Twitch account to it. You can drop that one off here. It is always appreciated. And that's the same. If you don't want to spend it on me, I understand. That's fine. Uh, go spend it on somebody that you haven't subbed to that you do like or that you want to, you know, have, get them some money. Um, but we hope to uh, see you guys back soon. As always, let your geek flag fly. Peace out. Peace. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, soon. Talk to you later.